welcome to Launch Time Politics. Richie, you live from Lagos. I'm Jeffrey Ozong. Here are the stories we're tracking. At the moment, we'll begin with the headlines. At least 13 farmers have been killed by bandits in Shiroro local government area, Niger State, following an attack at Ijua fringes of Alawa community. As the day passes, citizens continue to queue for fuel in parts of the country, some buying premium motor spirits for between 600 to 900 naira per litre. And now that the FCT minister, Yeson Wiki, has dared the PDP maintaining that no one can plot his downfall, how does the party intend to respond with the setting up of a reconciliation and disciplinary committee, a top member of the party, joins us on the program. Thanks again for joining us on the program. Security is our first port of call on the program with the latest killing of at least 13 persons by bandit at the Jua fringes of Alawa community in Shiroro, local government area of Niger State. The bandits are said to have shot nine persons and who are farmers in the area, while four others were killed at different locations in the same day. The chairman of the local government area, another local, and another local from that area who spoke to Channels Television via telephone, said the bandit targeted residents of Alawa community due to their continuous supply of intelligence to security agencies on bandits' movement and hideouts. Meanwhile, the Niger State Acting Governor Yakubu Gariba has condemned the attack, describing it as satanic, insensible and callous. This attack is coming at the time farmers are expected to spend more time in their farms. Channels Television also gathered that several other farmers far away from the scene of the attack have also deserted their farmland for fear of any form of attack. In the meantime, bandits have also struck in Kaduna State, abducting a village head's wife and his two sons. The wife of the village head of Galadimawa in Igabi local government area of Kaduna State, Fatima Liu, was kidnapped by bandits alongside her two children, that's Abdullahi and Kamal. Although the police authorities in the state have not commented on the incident, the Sarakin father of Galadimawa, who confirmed the attack, said the bandits invaded their residence late night. The source disclosed that upon arrival, the bandits specifically came to kidnap the village head. As they were asking about his whereabouts and when they could not find him, they took his second wife and two sons. Expressing fear and concern over the rising trend of bandits attack in the area, the Sarakin father said they about, that about 20 neighboring villages have fled to Galadimawa community due to insecurity. Days or weeks in, petrol scarcity worsens in Lagos, Ogun, and other states as independent marketers have started lifting products from private depots. But now the prices they lift is at about 780 naira per litre to uh, more than that per litre, uh, indicating an increase of 31%. According to the marketers, the hike in the price reflects the current demand and supply of the product in the domestic market. Although some marketers say the situation will soon be brought under control in the coming days, Nigerians continue to wonder what can be done to, by the regulators and stakeholders to avoid these repeated situation and a possible reduction in the price of petrol, which form part of a major agitation during the end bad governance protests. And let's move to some politics now. The People's Democratic Party has inaugurated two committees to reconcile aggrieved party members as well as discipline erring ones. Addressing members of the committees at the PDP headquarters in Abuja, the acting national chairman, Uma Damagung, urged the committee to work hard to rejuvenate the party. The 26-member disciplinary committee is headed by Chief Tommy Kimi, while the former governor of Oshun State, Lagunsoya Yinola, heads the reconciliatory committee. This inauguration represents a bold step towards addressing the challenges that have divided us and hindered our well-being. <clears throat> you are all aware of the fallout of the primaries and the resultant effect it had on the outcome 
of the general elections across all states. The action and inaction of some party members resulted in the current state of our party. This party has suffered a lot of damages, resulting in the loss of 2015, 2019, and 2023 general elections. It is against this background that you have been selected to carry out this task. You've been selected carefully because we know you have the pedigree to lead us out of this. As the BOT chairman says, that this committee is very important, that the committee should not uh, allow the party to die. So that is the focus, and that will be the focus of our conversation, the internal issues within the People's Democratic Party that has lingered far long beyond what was expected. Uh, it started way before the elections in 2023, and of course, at the primaries, there were issues. Eventually, those issues from the primaries resulted in how parties decided to have fault lines that landed them in that particular election and then they couldn't have the day. And so it's been, the party has been doing what they can, but it looks like there seems to be no end in sight if you want to describe it that way. But now they have set up a committee both for discipline and for reconciliation. How far reaching would this be? I'm being joined in the program by a life member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Alabode George, he joins us via Zoom. Chief George, thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program. Yeah, it's always my pleasure. Thank you. It's good to see you again, sir. So let's begin from the very immediate uh, uh, that happened yesterday. Some things that were said by the FCT minister, who is still a member of your party. So maybe I will take just a few, maybe a few seconds to, for you to listen to some of the things he said and your response. Mm. When I aspire a champion for the German to be, uh, governor. I have become a bad person simply because there are issues. And I kept quiet. There is nothing Chief Edwin Clark or the other state man have not said, but I said, I will not say, never, never. I will not reply to anything. If there is anybody who has contributed to the growth of PDP, as far as today, is is me. So when I read his other day, she said, investigate me, investigate me for what? He was one of those who were talking about the Southern president. And I supported the Southern president. So what are you going to investigate me? My friend, the governor about you, who is the chairman of the governor, the PDP governor's forum, you had his own statement. He has his own interest. So he, 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 he wants to be another chairman, but will play along to that interest. And nobody will talk. If you want to do anything, you say, oh, you're a wicked person. And I say, look, the matter has gone to court for interpretation of the constitution of the party. What the court interpret this? Can you bring a chairman that's not elected to, pre to preside over those that are elected? The president of the working committee are all elected. And then he said, go and bring this chairman from uh, Beriwe. I heard before, Suswan, Senator Suswan. I'm hearing now the DG of the PDP government forum, which is uh, the, the governor of Bauchi's own private nominee, to go and preside over elected people. Are we working like military and uh, <laughs> civilian? And I said, nobody does that. You have to wait for convention. And that is the law. It's not, it's not about, it. we did it yesterday. Yes, you may have done it yesterday and nobody was able to challenge it. Does not mean if you do it today, somebody will not uh, challenge. Chief, I would like your response. Two issues you raised. Is expulsion issue. He said he clearly did what he has to do. And the issue of who takes over from Damago, whether I should wait for an election, or there should be an appointment to preside over people that are elected. Your response, sir. 
Thank you very much for inviting me to share my own thoughts. You know, there is an old saying that there is no battle-free face of life. The higher you go, the harder the demonic bullets that will be fired at you. Thinking about that, you know, I, I, I remember um, it, it's like a cancer. The, the, the last selection of the presidential candidate of the party and the modus operandi, how it all went, that disagreement is still lingering. And it, this is the time for the board of trustee members to wade in. Because the board of trustee is the custodian. They hold in trust the assets and the liabilities of our party. And when you have this crisis, the best is to be the elder in the room. Um, it, it, it's all this, uh, we setting up uh, reconciliation committee, it is, it's, it, it is good. But what is, the mo what, what is behind that? You know, the party is still divided because of that last uh, uh, presidential, you know, primaries. And unless we sit down to do a rethink of how did the founding fathers get to the stage where justice, equity, and fairness got to be the heart of our party. I said it at that time. We, le we left it on, you know, they maneuvered it because there's no basis for uh, 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 the, um, we take it from the fact that once uh, the North handles the head of the government or the uh, uh, candidature of the presidency for eight years, the next eight years must come to the South. It became something that we couldn't get ourselves out of it. And so the, the pensions of arrogance all over has now spread. The little cancer, it started like a little, you know, saw. Now it's a massive cancer. Now, I went away uh, for a short break. And it was better because when you are out of the box, you can see the whole problems. When I came back, I read that the governor of Rivers was pulling out of the party. I said, what? The governor of a state, uh, you know, controlled by PDP will be... So quickly, I tried and tried and tried and tried. Eventually, he picked my call. He didn't know my number. So we, we now, I now said to him, are you leaving the party? He said, never, sir. And went on and on and on. So I told him, when issues get to this level, it is the responsibility of the Board of Trustees to weigh in. And then I called the chairman of the Board of Trustees, and that was how we went to see him. And uh, the details, I cannot divulge now, because we must be the elders in the room. And in the course of discussion and all that, the governor of Rivers stated his own points, things that were agitating his mind between him and his predecessor, Wike. We now said, okay, we we'll listen to you. Please hold your fire. We will go and meet Wike. Then the letter from Papa, uh, came up. You know, I think the same day that we finished the meeting in Poraco. And so we were supposed to now go and meet Wiki to listen to his own side. I have been in this party since the inception. I have seen the commitment, the eagerness, 
the, to, the complete loyalty to this party by the man who was uh, the chief convener of the meeting where this party was established. And I always remind them, every member, because that Baba's attitude, the, the Dr. Alex Ekweme, to be the minimum standard expected of leadership in our party. He invited people who were not in the same political game with him. He invited Chibola from the Southwest, uh, the Papa, um, uh, the former governor of Anambra State. They were never in the same political game. He invited Papa Solomon La, and all of them gathered. You know, being the chief uh, 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 fellow who was in charge of, they came out after a lot of discussions on the modus operandi of forming a national party, the guidelines, the do's and don'ts and all that. At that time, Papa, uh, Abbasajo was still in prison. When he came out, he went for a convention. He contested. This is Papa Alex Ekweme. That, that's the kind of attitude we should have, PRS minimum standard. He contested with the primaries, uh, Papa Sheikh Abbasajo. And then he lost. He never at any time wanted to bring down the roof. These were the, the kind of attitude we inherited from the founding fathers. And for God's sake, I want to plead with everybody on all sides to hold their fire. If this party, because of personal ambition of people and lack of respect, for the founding fathers, if he goes down, the almighty God will take a revenge on all these people. We are drifting and drifting so badly. I, I, I saw the list of those people who were you know, doing reconciliation and doing all this. And, and I, 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 I looked at the list. Are we really serious? Okay, Wiki is annoyed, and I want to plead with him. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Chief. And the higher you go in life. Chief, if I, if I may comment. The more, the more devilish bullets that will be fired at you. I have gone through it. I have experienced it. I am still alive. Chief. So, so Let I, I want, me uh, advise that he should please calm down. They know okay. the, the easiest way to fire him up. Let us all come together. He has made, I listened to that, uh, his broadcast and his uh, conversation yesterday. I knew and I saw how angry he is with the chairman of the board of trustees. I wanted to come to that. If yeah. we are going to, yeah, if we are going to go to meet him, to listen to him, and he sees that he, the team is being led by the chairman, it doesn't matter. You know, in the board of trustees, we don't contest for positions. Primus inter pares, first among equals. We decide, okay, it is you, go there. If we are not satisfied with his bias, we just move outside and another. Chief, 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 if, like, chief if I may come in, uh, Chief, on this particular one. Yeah, yeah okay. I know he has a lot of respect for you. Uh, and right. you also made a move. Uh, so what yeah. happened in Port Harcourt? Uh, because of time, I mm -hmm. just want to take a few of this. What is left to you in person and the board of, mm. uh, board of trustees? Because I know he has issues with Senator Omar Barra, apparently. He was very open. Now, if there's anything yeah. about him, he's very open about how he feels. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's ox is yeah. God. He will say it as it is. But now the party has to move forward. But the party is yeah. being held back by all of this fault line. Have you approached right. him? What is he saying? What is the way forward? Yeah, very good. 
at the meeting in Podrak, it was scheduled to be a peace meeting. Let us, there are two uh, uh, people who are at opposite ends of the divide. We listened to his own complaint. And it will be a very poor management to just listen to his own side and take action. We have told the, uh, the, the managers of the Board of Trustees, Chairman and Secretary, that they must request for, he, for him, for us to visit him and listen to his grouses. And it now looks like he has some kind of, uh, uh, because I was hearing that for the first time, that he has a grouse with the Chairman of the Board of Trustees. If he says he wants to be the board of trustee, we know that he has this friction. We can request from the chairman to stand down. The secretary of the party of the board of trustees is still there. You know, that let, let us let us go there and listen to him so that we will now know what is in A, what is in B, and we can now resolve the problem. This to me, I've been in this party, I have served in every position necessary, we have resolved even worse situations than what is on now. And I'm pleading with everybody, including the managers of the party at the National Working Committee, we must come down. They right. invited me to, to join the reconciliation something, something. And I said, you know, I, when I saw the list that was out, how, how? You don't denigrate. And I called them, I told them. They said, oh, no, sir, it's just your experience they require. And who is the chairman? Who is the secretary? You, know, you, 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 you can put the picture out and be deceiving others. We are the founding people. The founding fathers handed the party over to us. I contested the first elective office through the convention. And, and, and I've been there. So let's listen to ourselves. Let's remove this personal ambition. Let's remove the, the, the authority of it's only me, it's only me. No. Chief, Chief. It uh, has to be all of us together. Uh, as we the begin party to wind itself has a problem. As we begin to wind we down, uh, Chief, yeah. my apologies. Okay. As we begin to wind down, a bit of a scenario planning. This appears to be like, yes. uh, for people like Nyeson Wike, people like Balam Mohammed yes. and the rest, are, yeah, you can yeah. suspect there's an ambition they are trying to protect. Uh, and you've been okay. in this since 1999. And we know, we can tell from all of us who are watchers of that space, what is likely right. to play out in 2027. And they are the ones on ground, and yourself and all of them, they can predict. So if there are compromises that you would like to propose, what will they be as we begin to wind down? Do you know, do you know we had the... the fixated rules of the game. We maneuvered it, or they maneuvered it, the former chairman. They invited us to come and be uh, uh, as elders in the room to see how we can resolve that crisis. We did that. And then, you know, we asked that those who are contesting People raise the issue of, oh, when you now change the, the, the chairmanship of the party, uh, they did not announce that the, 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 uh, um, the positions of the candidates should also change. Simplicity, the way it was done by the founding fathers, whatever positions that are there in the North, after eight years, all those positions will come to the South, and all those in the South will go to the North. They came up with a concept, and when we start manipulating that concept, that is where we find ourselves, on the ground. And for God's sake, there are still some of us, what am I running for? Let's listen. When I saw the list of those who are doing the consultation, it's so one-sided. I made my own observation directly to the acting chairman. I said, no, I can't serve under this. This is not right. 
How, how, who, who is this one to be? Chairman over... And then you put me... Please Chief, let Chief, me just Chief, hang Chief, out. Chief, just and one what? minute. Chief, one minute. Uh, yeah. we, we just have about two minutes to wrap up. From oh, what you have okay. said and from what we have observed, yeah. it, yeah. it appears... Do you think Mr. Damagun has a hold as a leader of the party, at least... Uh, being a leader of but the NWC video. because of the constitution of the Reconciliatory Committee and as well as the Disciplinary Committee, which you are, you, which you are saying is one-sided. Yeah, it is. So, so what he has done, I told them, please network. When issues get to this stage, allow the Board of Trustees to get involved because they are the upper chamber to resolve issues between uh, party members, between uh, like the, the imbroglio that is going on now. So we need to listen and be completely impartial. Completely impartial. We can see that the APC is just having a few days while we are battling ourselves. It is wrong. And I'm begging all sides. Remove your personal ambition, remove your personal, and let us re-entrench the party that is the political Iroko tree in this country. People should, on all sides, just be quiet. Let's see if we, we, the move that we made to Port Harcourt, we want to listen to the other side, it will come back eventually Chief. to the party. Chief. What is wrong with the party? It's not impossible to, to solve this problem. For God's uh, sake, for the right, sake Chief. of the future generations, Chief. everybody should shut up. All right. let, us, let us sit down and get people to resolve it. These are not uh, uh, issues that you cannot resolve. I get, I get angry when I all see right. and hear all sides. You know, it's, it's so bad. All right, Chief, in 30 it seconds, right. we're totally out of time. You've said, look, you, you're clearly, this is, you're not pursuing anything. Do you think the ambition no. of Atiku Abubakar uh, can at least bring this to some level of closure in 30 seconds? I just have 30 seconds, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, those who think that it is him, it should be him, it, they are all... Look, if you see the list, who belongs to the chairman of the reconciliation? Where is he coming from? I know him. Who is the secretary of the reconciliation? He's also his own boy. When you personalize things like this, then you are not looking for the solution. Get neutral people. They are there. Get neutral people. And you don't take somebody as your enemy because he, he, you, you disagree with his own point. All of us cannot stay and sleep and face the same direction. We can disagree, but we must never be disagreeable. All, right, Chief. All this committee and things that they have done, for God's sake, you can see where the ship of state is drifting badly All right, Chief. to the rocks. All right, Chief, I must thank you. To all sides, so be quiet. You know, and let, let's, let's go on. It's not right. impossible. What are you fighting for? You want to be president? This one wants to be president? But there are rules. There are, there are uh, All right, uh, All right uh, Chief. Uh, 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 where, where? To, to, to handle. I'm disappointed when I listen to all this kind of uh, uh, right. story. So, Chief. we case you calm down. We want to see him. All right. All right, Chief, we're up. totally out of time. That's a good place to land on this one. It's an ongoing conversation. I will be right there to make sure we amplify whatever is going on within the political space uh, at the end of the day. Thank you, Chief Body George, a life member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, for always coming through when we call you. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, too. That's it on the program. Thank you for your time. I'm Jeffrey Uzama. You've been served on Lunchtime Politics.